Back in 1987, a respected botanist, Hugh Wilson, took over the management of a block of land on Banks Peninsula. The land had remnant patches of native bush, but much of it was covered in gorse. While locals waged their wars on gorse to keep their farmland productive, Hugh started working to a different plan, prompting some people to dub Hugh the gorse farmer. What Hugh knew, and most didn't, was that gorse was an effective nursery crop. With a little help, native vegetation would regenerate through the weed, provided there was a nearby seed source. As this photo sequence shows, over the past 26 years the area has been transformed. With the addition of adjoining blocks of land, Hinawai is now a magnificent 1200 hectare reserve, with mature and regenerating native bush and abundant wildlife. With 18 kilometres of walking tracks, Hinawai attracts visitors from around the world. We caught up with Hugh after he sent another group of keen hikers on their way. No gorse farming here, Hugh. It's something a lot more substantial. Um, how has an area like this changed? Not a gorse bush visible here, is it? No. But this is the, where it happens the fastest. We're in a moist, cool gully at about uh, 380 metres above sea level, so that's also higher rainfall and lower down. Um, so this is definitely where it happens fastest. The, hard to believe this, mm, 25 years ago, was completely open. Mm. There was bush in the gully downstream, bush in the gully upstream, but this was so bright and light that this stream here was just choked with water starwort, which is an exotic aquatic weed. Mm. Absolutely gone, completely now. So all this high canopy of fuchsia and wine bearing and mahoi is all established since we took animals and fire and disturbance out of here. Along with the native flora and fauna, something else is accumulating at Hinawai, carbon. The reserve is a major source of high quality carbon credits, initially developed through Lancare Research's EBEX 21 program, which helped landowners get into carbon farming. Hinawai Reserve is now registered with the Ministry for Primary Industries Permanent Forest Sink Initiative, or PFSI. Most of Hinawai's credits are supplied to the Carbon Zero program, Members purchase the credits to mitigate their unavoidable greenhouse gas emissions. OK Hugh, so obviously to be eligible for carbon credits there, you have to have this concept of additionality, just doing more than what, what ordinarily would have been done. So yeah. how's, how has the management of the reserve changed? Uh, the, the carbon project? money has helped us a lot. Uh, it's hard to separate it out exactly but we've been able to do immensely more possum control. That's one of the big things. We spent tens of thousands of dollars on possum control, got the numbers down almost unbelievably low at the moment, we want to hold them there, so we're still meant to spending money on it. We've also used some of the money as additional land purchases, so the reserve is not only bigger but much more rational boundaries and we've included more potential and actual native forest. So uh, all those things, we've, we've been able to do a lot more than we otherwise would have been able to do. About half of the dry weight of a tree is carbon. Over several years, Landcare Research has studied the accumulation of carbon in the bush at Hinawai and found that about 8 tonnes of carbon is being stored per hectare per year. Landcare Research's Dr Fiona Carswell says that's well in excess of the PFSI requirement. It's, it's really, you know, very, very good. It seems to be quite fertile, there's a good growth rate, there's relatively good rainfall and of course the management's exemplary, so it's, it's really putting on carbon at a very good rate. In 2011, a lightning strike caused a fire in part of Hinawai Reserve. Initially, some carbon was lost, which at the time was covered by a pool of insurance credits in the EBEX programme. Subsequent studies have shown the fire has benefited carbon storage. By opening up the canopy and returning nutrients to the soil, the fire has fueled dramatic regrowth at Hinawai, further underlining the quality of its carbon credits. That quality counts. Well, credits from um, sites like Hinawai have real integrity to our program, uh, and it's also important for our members' environmental performance claims. A lot of our members really like having that connection to such a profile site like Hinawai. It's um, really great for them to be able to integrate into their story of their certification claim and uh, communicate that to their stakeholders.